Hi Stampers and welcome to the Christmas in July Video Kit Club. This month we have a surprise for you. Um, if you've been on the website, you've seen a place for Mer Michelle Perquette's digital stamps coming and those are going to preview on July 15th. We are going to be carrying her whole line of digital images and um, creating rubber stamps out of a sel um, select few. And this is one of the new sets. It comes, it's the Christmas Fairy and Goddess. And this is what you're going to get in your um, kit this month, is this half of the stamp set, if you would like this other gorgeous stamp. It really is a good deal. It's only $3 in addition. If you'd like that, just leave us a comment in the, um, leave us a note in the comment section. And we will go ahead and add that to your kit as well. Um, this month we're going to make a fun swing card and the focus on the um, video this month is going to be how to cut the card. It really isn't a complicated card to cut um, but you do have to do some different moves so we'll go ahead and get started. You're going to need your paper cutter this month and you will need a cutting blade and a score blade. Um, the black one is the score blade. If you don't have a score blade, you can use a bone folder and slide it through the grooves. Um, that will work as well. And we're going to use the score blade first, so I'm going to go ahead and slide that up. And then in your, in your kit, you will receive a five and a half by six and three quarter um, cardstock. This is your card base and you are going to start with it horizontally and you're going to um, slide it into your paper cutter at the two and three quarter inch line okay and then you're going to use the score blade and you're going to start at the top and you're going to score down to one and a quarter now these little arrows on the side show where it scores to this is where your score blade is so you want to score down from the top to the one and a quarter inch. And then pick it up and slide it down to the four and a quarter inch line. And then score from there to the end. Okay, and then you're going to pick up your um, paper slider and slide it over to the four inch mark. And you're going to make those same scores again from zero to one and a quarter and then from four and a quarter to the edge of the cardstock. Okay? So when you're done, this is what you end up with your four score lines right here. Then you're going to turn your cardstock vertically and we're going to switch out to the um, cutting blade and we're going to put the card stock in vertically at um, the four and a quarter inch line and you're going to cut from one and a half here and again the same thing the arrows show where the blade is so line your arrow up with the one and a half and cut from there just to your score line which is at um, two and three quarters and then you're going to pick your blade up, slide it down to the four inch line where your other um, score line is, and you're going to cut from four to five and a quarter. Okay? And then we're going to go ahead and flip our cardstock around and do it again. So line it up at four and a quarter. Line up your cutting blade then at one and a half and cut from one and a half down to your score line or two and three quarters pick it up slide it down to four and then cut from four to five and a quarter okay then we're going to go ahead and pick up our cardstock and flip it horizontally and line it up at the inch and a half and you're going to actually
cut from this line, this cut line to this cut line and connect them. So at one and a half, you're going to cut from one and a quarter to four and a quarter. And then you're going to flip it around, line your card stock up at one and a half again, and then cut from one and a quarter to four and a quarter. Okay? And that's your card base. And then you're going to fold your score lines. Your first um, score line on the left side is going to be a mountain, so that's going to go underneath. And then your other one is going to make a valley, so that will come up. And that makes your card then. So this is your base for your swing card. Real easy, but it's a fun fold. And now we get to the stamping and the decorating part. It's pretty straightforward. You'll get your white square piece, so go ahead and stamp your image with the memento. And you can choose to color it with whatever method you choose. I um, colored it with Copics and the colors that I use will be on the instruction sheets. You can use watercolor pencils or water-based um, markers if you'd like, whatever method you choose. So go ahead and color that and then you'll have two strips and you're going to use the two poinsettias and um, stamp them repeatedly down the two strips and everything gets mounted on the red then. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and accent our pieces with glitter before we adhere them onto our cards. In your kit, you're also going to receive the quickie glue pen, and that's just for um, applying your glitter. And you will receive a small bottle of the Cyclamen glitter. It matches the, the red paper. And it's a semi-transparent glitter, so it's still going to let your um, images show through. So you're going to go ahead and use your quickie glue pen and I'm adding the glitter to the um, roses. When you first get your glue pen, it does come with a little ball on the end of the cap. You do need to peel that off before you um, start using your glue pen. And you want to work in small pieces because the glue pen does tend to dry fairly quick. So just go ahead and work in sections. So there's the um, flowers on that one. If um, you have the, I think it's the March Video Kit Club, the faux stitched spring with the flocking and dimensional glue, you could actually add the white flocking um, to her mitt and the collar. It would be a, a nice added dimension there. And then for the um, two strips you will receive in your kit a sample packet of the Evening Glow glitter. It's just going to be a sample packet because um, all we're going to do is add glitter to the center of these poinsettias so it doesn't take very much glitter at all. And go ahead and glitter these. And again, just adds a little bit of sparkle. Okay, so you have your pieces glittered. Now you're ready to lay them down on your card. You want to make sure that the um, top flap is over to the left and your main image is going 
in the, the middle. So decide which way you want your card and then um, go ahead and flip it over to adhere your um, main image panel to the middle. And go ahead and I already put my terrific tape down on there and you can go ahead and line that up then. And stick that down and then your um, two poinsettia strips go on either side flap. And there's one and then you can go ahead and open it and flip it open because it's the other one is going to go over here. And then that goes down. Okay, so it's going to flip like this and then your message gets stamped in the back here <clears throat> and you can see I stamped it in black as well, your sentiment and then I stamped the um, additional um, roses and holly up in the corner and colored it and glittered it as well. So that's your fun Easter card, your the flip swing just goes back and forth. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope you enjoy um, coloring the new uh, Michelle Perquette images. I know I sure do. So until next month, happy stampin' and I will see you again. Bye-bye.